Before I begin this review, let me just say yes, my computer can run Crisis. Crisis first began as a PC game released in 2008 published by EA Games and developed by Crytek. The game also got a remaster release in 2020. The game did well enough to spawn two sequels and a spin-off. The plot is that an ancient alien race has been discovered in the fictional Lingshan Island controlled by North Korea and a group of archaeologists are sent in to excavate. A week later, Delta Force Raptor Squad is sent in to rescue the archaeologists and secure any valuable data. Players control Delta Force Jake Dunn who goes by the name of Nomad who is equipped with the nano suit. And in my opinion, the real star of the series. The game earned its reputation by boasting about how the game's graphics pushes boundaries, but at the expense of steep requirements. Let's be realistic, can any company succeed by bragging about how super realistic the graphics are? To make a long answer short, the answer is yes, but only if the gameplay is just as good. And unfortunately... This is where the game dropped the ball, but more on that later. Another thing worth noting is how the physics are actually well done. Okay, I'll admit I was impressed by the physics. Every little thing you do does something, from just sneaking through the grass to touching a support beam to a building, something does happen, all thanks to Crytek Engine. Source Engine, eat your heart out. Going back to what I said about the gameplay, I will give points for creative freedom with weapons. You can equip to go stealthy or go guns blazing. If you plan on going stealthy, there are options available to make your weapons quieter. The most useful tool for going stealth is the binoculars. Using these allows you to check out the current situation and tag enemies and supplies. And of course cloaking is the cherry on top of the stealth sundae. But if you go guns blazing, good luck. Oh, and there's also armor mode if things get too hectic. There are vehicles you can use to explore. What's the problem? Oh, right. Exploring. One might be thinking, Lingshan Island is huge. Can I explore freely? Well, yes and no. This is where the gameplay dropped the ball, and I'll go over the no part first. Gameplay for the most part consists of going from point A to point B, complete the objectives, and move on. As I was saying, there are vehicles you can use to explore, but for the most part, you're better off going on foot. There are secondary objectives, but they really don't add much to the gameplay and don't alter anything. But if you need to restock or just want to add more game time, I guess go for it. The yes part is that there is no right or wrong way of approaching your objectives, but for a game that's open world, you don't do a whole lot of free roaming. And I'll be honest, Linkshan Island is huge. And you think for an island that big, you get to do more. And that is where the game dropped the ball. But wait, there's more. For a 12 year old game that got remastered, it failed in that department also. Not to go off course, but if you look at Quake, it got remastered and it did very well. Of course, since I don't have a copy of the original, it's going to be impossible to do a comparison. But I'll cut to the chase. The remaster was nothing more than a gimmick for users to buy more powerful graphics cards to get DLSS effects. But does one really need these options to make a game look good? The answer is no. Before I forget, I should mention that the remaster got rid of multiplayer. Wait, wait, wait. I've been meaning to ask this, but does every first-person shooter need multiplayer? Of course not. Look at Wolfenstein The New Order. That's a first-person shooter without multiplayer, and it did just fine. My point is not every shooter main needs multiplayer. Overall, for a game that got a remaster, it fell flat in many areas and didn't live up to expectations. But the game isn't completely horrible. It just needed more. If you haven't played Crisis before, go check it out. Otherwise, stick to the original. Crisis Remaster gets 2.5 nanosuits out of 5.